everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Foundation Friday and I am sad to report that I have not been testing out a foundation this week. I have just been so busy. I got home from vacation, I had to unpack and kind of get my house back in order and it just, the week just kind of got away from me. I've had so many of you reach out to me and ask me my favorite foundations for the summer and so I thought well maybe instead of uploading a video of a foundation that I'm testing, why don't I give you guys some of my favorite foundation especially for the summer. You guys know I am dry normal skin, you know I'm 40 years old so my skin is definitely maturing and Right now I'm more normal. I'm not normally dry in the summer. I'm normally really dry in the winter. So right now I'm more on the normal side, which is good because I can wear more mattifying foundations. However, for me, I don't know if you guys are like me, but during the summer, I want my skin to be as skin-like as possible. Matte foundations during the summer just don't feel good to me. I don't like wearing thick, heavy makeup anyway, but particularly in the summer. So. During the winter is where I like to wear more like airbrushed, you know, mattifying foundation and sometimes if the foundation is too mattifying, I'll just add a little bit of the primer oil. This is from Smashbox. I just take a tiny bit, mix it in with my matte foundation. Because I'm more dry in the winter, I'm allowed to kind of give a little bit of moisture in a more dry mattifying foundation. But for me, I like more natural type foundations. There are some foundations in here that are very natural, some are CC creams, but there's also some, you know, really good weatherproof, waterproof foundations in here that have just been like my ride or die. And like I cannot live without these foundations for those special occasions where I need my foundation to stay on. I need it to hold up during the heat, you know, sweating, all of that stuff. So, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. My favorite, all-time favorite foundation, I would say personally, is the Lancome Skin Feels Good Foundation. And the reason why I love this is because it gives my skin such a beautiful, healthy glow. I particularly love this during the springtime when my skin is still a little bit on the drier side. And I still wear this all summer. It does have sunscreen, but it's not an SPF where I think it only has like 23 SPFs. It's not overloaded with sunscreen, but it has hyaluronic acid in it. It's oil free, which is amazing, but it's a skin tint. So it's not technically a foundation, but I absolutely love this, especially for those of you out there that have mature skin. Maybe you're a little bit more drier and you're wanting something to just make your skin look absolutely healthy and beautiful. I recommend going down to your local Sephora, I think Ulta carries this, get a sample of it and try it because this is my holy grail. I mean, it is unbelievably beautiful on the skin. You can build this to a pretty decent medium coverage just by stippling it into the skin. Now, I don't know that I'd recommend this for those of you out there who have more oily skin. Maybe combo if you set it in your T-zone but definitely not for oily skin. But I, this is my ride or die. I wore it all summer long last year. Uh, I think I discovered it like last April and it's just been one of my ride or dies. Like it's just an amazing foundation. The other one is also from Lancome. This one has some ups and downs. This one is a CC cream and it has SPF of 50. This is what I wear when I'm gonna go on the lake. I'm gonna be out in the sun all day. I'm not wearing much makeup, but I want to kind of even out my skin tone, maybe hide some of the hyperpigmentation that I have. So I want a little bit of coverage. You could probably build this one to a pretty decent medium coverage. This lasts all day, and there's a lot of CC creams out there that I've tried that they look good for five, six, seven hours, and then they really start to kind of fade away. This one doesn't. Like, I'll put this on, and, and it lasts me all day long. Now, the thing with this, there's several negatives with this, but I did want to bring it up for those of you who spend a lot of time on the lake or, you know, you're going to go fishing or you're going to the beach or whatever it is and you want your skin really, really protected, but you also don't want all of your craziness showing through. This one is nice. It only has five shades, which is such a bummer. I'm in shade four, by the way. So it does not go very dark. You know, the shade range is a complete joke. But if you can find the right shade in this and you're wanting something to give you that extra protection, hide that hyperpigmentation, it's so good. But the key with this is I have to set this with powder. So when you put it on, it is a little bit, 
it looks oily it looks greasy so you do kind of have to set it especially i'll set it right here in the t-zone just to make sure that it doesn't look greasy but the key is it doesn't move around all day which was kind of surprising this has been a nice product and like I said, it's it's probably not for every day, but it's definitely nice to have on hand. It's definitely not for everyone. Now the other one that I am officially falling in love with, I didn't wanna love it because it's so crazy expensive, but this is the Tom Ford Traceless Stick Foundation. And I wore this yesterday for 16 hours. I was up really, really late editing. I had a ton of to do. As you guys know, I have family in town. It's just been kind of hectic around here. I wore it for 16 hours. This is unbelievably beautiful. Now that it matches my skin tone, I am obsessed with this. Like it makes my skin look gorgeous. So beautiful. Like this is such a beautiful foundation. It's definitely expensive. I bought this on during like the Sephora spring sale, so I did get a percentage off on it, which is sometimes the only way you can buy it, because it's like 87 bucks. But if you're looking for a really nice, high-end, beautiful, healthy foundation, I love the way it looks over pores. I don't get like a ton of coverage with this. I'm wearing it right now. You can see my hyperpigmentation coming through. It still looks so flawless, and I would say you're gonna get a decent medium coverage. Now, I'm in between shades, and I bought seven, the shade seven first, and it didn't work. Then I bought 7.7, .7 and it was a little bit too dark. I knew I was gonna be able to wear it during the summer, and I'm in love with this foundation. Like, now that it matches my skin perfectly, I'm obsessed. Like, I think it's gonna be my new favorite summer foundation. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. And a few swipes, it blends right into your skin. Just gives your skin such a beautiful glow. Like, whoo! It is gorgeous. Okay, so now for those of you who are on a budget or for those of you that just think it's ridiculous to spend $87 because believe me, I still can't believe I, I'm like saying that. I have these two foundations that I've absolutely loved. So this one I found last year. This is from Makeup Revolution, this stick foundation. This is definitely for those of you out there who are dry normal. Combo oily, you're not gonna wanna touch this because it is a little bit on the dewy side. So if you love just that fresh, dewy skin, this Makeup Revolution foundation is absolutely beautiful. It's easy to apply, it blends out beautifully, and it lasts all day. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna say you're gonna get 12 hours out of it. I would say probably six to eight hours, it's gonna look really good, and then it'll start to kind of break down, but it still looks beautiful, still covers. I would say you get a nice medium coverage out of this, and it's absolutely beautiful. It looks healthy gives that skin that natural glow, I'm obsessed. This other one that I just recently found, I actually compared it to the Guerlain uh, Terracotta Foundation, and there's no difference between these two. This is amazing, this is from Milani. This is the Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick, and I would say you get a nice medium coverage out of this. It looks healthy, it looks glowy. These two are very, very similar in the way that they apply, the way that they wear, that healthy, dewy skin. I think you probably get a little bit more coverage out of this one than you do this one, but they're both really, really good. Now again, these two are not for you know combo and oily skin. I do have some foundations in here that I'm gonna talk about that I would definitely recommend for those of you out there that have combo and oily. These two, all the ones that I just talked about, these are not going to be for anybody who has oily or combination skin. So the Tom Ford, the two from Lancome, and the two stick foundations. So next up, let's get into more fuller coverage foundations. These are the foundations that you wanna reach for when you need that extra coverage. Maybe you do have a lot of hyperpigmentation and you can't go around without a full coverage foundation. There was a time in my life when I needed a full coverage foundation, even during the summer, and I hated it because I wanted to always be that girl that could put on a little bit of foundation, put on a little blush, put on a little bronzer and be out the door but it took me many years of a lot of skincare and a lot of you know retinol creams and all of that to finally get where I'm at today but there was a time and I know what that feels like so my tried and true foundation that I've absolutely loved for many many years that is a really natural, beautiful full coverage. It's not gonna exaggerate your pores, it's not gonna exaggerate your wrinkles, it's a very natural foundation. This is the Ultra Wear from Lancome, and it does have SPF of 15, but it lasts forever. Like, it says it lasts up to 24 hours, and it's transfer resistant. I would say for me, 
I get a full 12 hours out of this. I mean, this is a just ride or die type of foundation. And I definitely recommend that for those of you out there that still want that natural look, you want your skin covered and you want the hyperpigmentation, the you know liver spots, adult acne, whatever skin situation that you're trying to cover, but you still want your skin to look natural, this is a beautiful foundation. You can also go down to the Lancome counter, you know, have them match you and take home a sample, try it out. On all of these foundations, if you are able to get a sample, I highly recommend it. If you don't love it, you're just wasting your money. So I recommend getting a sample of it and trying it because this is a fantastic, natural, but really good coverage foundation. The other one I wanna talk about is from Dior. So this is the Forever Undercover 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Now, last year when I got home from our Florida trip, I was out in the sun for three weeks straight. We were at the beach every day, we were at the pool every day, at our condo there in St. Augustine, and my hyperpigmentation was, I think what I didn't do on that trip is I didn't reapply sunscreen enough throughout the day. My hyperpigmentation was just coming out. So when I was on my lake trip, you know, just recently and I got kind of some sun and stuff, you can kind of see my shoulders are kind of, you know, they're, they're tan. I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. But I didn't, this trip I protected my skin and that's one reason why I just didn't even bother with foundation or anything on the makeup because I needed, to, I know I needed to reapply sunscreen throughout the day and I didn't do that last year. So if you look back on any of my videos from last summer, my hyperpigmentation, when I got back, I have something in my hair. This whole video I've had something in my hair. Oh, that's fun. When I got back from my trip, my skin was just horrible like my hyperpigmentation was just really really bad this is the one that i reached for a lot last year when i got home because this helps hide the hyperpigmentation and it's a full coverage 24 hour it's like waterproof transfer resistant like this is a little bit this can get a little bit cakey you do have to be careful with this one so if you have mature skin and you want that full coverage say you're like me and you had to cover all that hyperpigmentation up or you're going on a special occasion let's just say you're going to go on a date a wedding a baby shower whatever it is and you want your skin to just look really beautiful this is a beautiful foundation it will give you nice full coverage natural but this one I would say is a little bit less natural than the one from Lancome. I recommend applying it with a brush, put an even layer over it, and then right around your wrinkles, like especially if you have them right around your mouth or right in your forehead, make sure that you are making your skin flat like this and picking up any extra product sitting inside those wrinkles because the only drawback from this one that I have found is that if you're not careful and you get it too thick and too heavy in certain places, you'll be able to see it and it will kind of get a little bit thick. So just be careful and mindful of that. But that, in my opinion, is the only negative about this foundation. It's beautiful, it's long lasting, it's absolutely full coverage. It's just one of those really good full coverage foundations on the market. Again, go down to Nordstrom's, Macy's, Dillard's, wherever you have a local, um, Dior counter and get a sample of it and try it. It is phenomenal for those full coverage days. The other one I want to talk about is from L'Oreal. This one is definitely more on the affordable range. So this is the infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear. When L'Oreal released this foundation, it was like just mind blowing how amazing it was. And this is a good foundation. It has SPF 25, but the thing that I like about this one is it's long wearing and you can get a decent medium coverage. But this is like waterproof, transfer proof, like once this sets down, it sets and it stays. The way that I like to apply this the best is with my fingers. And I normally don't like applying foundations with my fingers, but there's something really nice about the way that this works. And I just put a little bit in the palm of my hand and I just kind of spread it around and then I'll go over it with a sponge and just kind of blend it into my skin. That's kind of how I achieve the more natural. If I apply this with a brush, it gets a little bit cakey in certain areas. So for me, just applying it all over the face with my fingers, blending it in, going over it with a sponge, smoothing it all out, it's just, it's a flawless finish. And 
This is a really, really good affordable foundation for those of you out there who need that extra coverage. This is weatherproof, transfer proof, all of that. So this is a good one as well. Now, what I wanna mention in the higher coverage area for those of you who have drier skin, this is the Clinique Even Better Refresh Hydrating and Repairing Foundation. So I recently discovered this and I'm absolutely in love with it. I loved the Even Better from Clinique, but this one is more coverage and lasts longer than the Even Better. So this is really nice for those of you out there who do have dry skin, but you need a fuller coverage. This is beautiful. It's hydrating, it looks healthy, it looks natural, but you still have the coverage that you need. I remember back in the day when I needed full coverage, it was so hard to find a full coverage foundation that wasn't matte. And nowadays, I'm really glad that the brands have caught on that there is a market for dewy foundations. It seems like back when I needed full coverage, all of them were matte. And so I'm really glad that brands are releasing new foundations on the market that are full coverage, but still give you that dewy, healthy glow. So this is a nice one. These are the holy grails besides the Lancome. Um, and I guess besides the Tom Ford. The first one I wanna talk about is this. This is from Dior. This is a foundation that I keep on hand for those special occasions, like I said, weddings, uh, bridal showers, whatever you're doing, going to a host house party to have some drinks, cocktails, whatever you're doing. This is absolutely budge proof. Once you put this on, okay, for example, I have proof. So last year when we, my, when we were in Florida, I put this on and my husband and I went on a date with our friends, with our friends in Florida. And we were out in the heat in St. Augustine for several hours. And by the end of the night, the friends that we were with, their foundation was like dripping off their face. Mine was budge proof. Like my makeup looked, now don't get me wrong, I had mascara and stuff kind of all around my eyes because we were sweating. It was like 97 degrees that day in humidity. It was really hot. But my foundation was like budge proof. This stuff is unbelievable how magic it is and it's it's pretty expensive and so that's why i keep it around for those special occasions where i really really need this to last it's water resistant it lasts for 12 hours or longer this is seamless it's airbrush flawless it's beautiful so i keep this on hand for those days now the thing that i will say about this one i've never achieved a full coverage i know that i've heard some people say that it's a full coverage but for me it doesn't cover this hyperpigmentation up here. I would say when I put this on, it looks about like this one does. So you can still see the hyperpigmentation coming through, but it just kind of evens it out and gives you kind of like a medium coverage situation. So if you're needing a full coverage, you're gonna have a hard time building this to a full coverage because that was the thing that I didn't like about it last year is I struggled trying to get this to cover the bad hyperpigmentation that I was dealing with last summer. Because like I said, my dark spots last summer were really, really dark. But this, phenomenal. It is flawless, like the most flawless foundation I have. It's just so beautiful on the skin. The other one that I'm really, really loving, like this one kind of shocked me. I didn't know I was gonna love it as much as I did. But this is a new one from Givenchy. It is the Tint Couture Everwear 24 Hour Wear Satin Finish Full Coverage foundation and it has SPF of 20. This is comfortable, it's beautiful, it is full coverage, it lasts a really long time, and I am really surprised by this. And I would say, if you have dry skin, I think you'd be able to get away with this. If, it, if you're really dry, I think you could put a drop of the primer oil in with it, and it would just be flawless. This is probably one of my favorite full coverage foundations. Again, I think it's kind of neck and neck with the one from Lancome. I think these two are pretty close to being similar. Just kind of blew me away how great this foundation is. It is a beautiful foundation. It's flawless. It lasts for hours. Be mindful of the undertones on this because this one is a good match for me and I did get lucky, but it does seem like the undertones are kind of strong on it. So just be mindful of that beautiful foundation and I've had so many of my followers out there tell me that this is their new ride or die foundation like they absolutely love it and it is a good foundation finally the last one I want to talk about is from Smashbox this is the studio skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation this is for those of you out there who have a dry normal skin but you want your foundation to lock and stay loaded like all day 
This is a nice medium coverage foundation. I love the way this looks on my skin. The only problem with me is that this breaks me out. I'm starting to narrow down what ingredient in the foundations that I've been testing for the last year and a half have broke me out, but this is one of them. There's something in this that breaks me out and I can't wear it for you know, several days in a row. So if I wanna wear this, I can wear it one day, but then I can't wear it for like a week or two and then I can pull it back out and wear it again. But this is, that's just me and my skin, you guys. I have adult acne and certain foundations just break me out. It just is what it is. How I was uh, turned on to this is uh, Katie uh, Lusterlox, you know, at Katie, she has a YouTube channel. She talked about this one last summer being like her ride or die summer foundation. And I was really curious about it. And so I picked it up and I can see why. It is absolutely beautiful. And I remember my husband and I, the first time I ever wore this, my husband and I went to a football game and I had so many people stop me and say, what, are you wearing foundation? What foundation are you wearing? Your skin is like flawless with it. This is a beautiful foundation, a nice coverage. It's hydrating, but it's not a dewy. So let's just say that you're somebody that has drier skin, maybe dry normal skin, and you want a hydrating foundation, but you don't want it to be dewy because there are a few foundations that I've mentioned that do give more of a dewier type of finish. This is gonna be the one that you would wanna try because this one is hydrating, but it's not dewy. Once you apply it, it's like locked and loaded and it just, it lasts and lasts. It gives the skin just a beautiful glow. This is one of my top five favorite foundations, but it's just a bummer. I can only wear it like once, you know, every couple but weeks. Those are my favorite summer foundations and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have a favorite foundation for the summer, let us know in the comments down below because you know, if you have oily skin or if you have combo skin, dry skin, normal skin, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite kind of foundation is because you guys always have such great recommendations and sharing it with others is just amazing. So if you guys wouldn't mind, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite foundation is for the summer. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.